Hey guys, Davison here. I'm your TikTok, Snapchat, and other filter help girl. And today, this is about prequel. Now, I've stressed out so much about this tutorial, and I really shouldn't because prequel is pretty straightforward. But I must say something really important before we begin, which is that you need to not pay full price for the app. You need to go into your settings. So hit the little man person, and then you will see a menu in settings and there should be the subscription at the top. Now, when you click it, I won't be able to do this. I will show you here. There's a pop-up, which instead of trying to charge you between five and $7 a week, you can buy prequel for about $45 a year. What a savings or something like $11 a month. So don't be fooled into thinking you have to subscribe weekly. You can subscribe monthly or annually. So now that I've said that, let's get back to the prequel app. So now that I've put you guys in here, I will show you at the bottom, there's from left to right, a whole bunch of buttons. So there's trends, there's the effects, which is the sparkles. There's of course, switching between photo and video mode in the middle. Then there's additional filters after that. And then there's face adjustment as the final uh, option. At the top, let's see from left to right, we have your profile or your subscription plan. We have your camera roll in the middle. We have the timer right at the upper right hand side. We have the flash and then we of course have toggling between the front and the rear camera. So first we're gonna just start with the sparkle which will allow us to select a variety of filters. Now, I want to let you know that in the video mode on prequel, you get a maximum of a minute of recording and you must absolutely know that this app is a massive battery drain, like massive, unprecedented, I would even say. It's the worst app I have ever used in terms of how much it drains your battery. On my phone, which is an iPhone 7 Plus, it drains it at a rate of 1% per minute or more. So don't be using this uh, extensively if you're out and about, you need your charger lying around. So the biggest effect that most people are into is the v VCR or the VHS mode. So automatically you see, wow, like, Look at how interesting and dynamic all the filters are. It's very easy to switch between them. It's just a matter of selecting them. You can also select, if you tap on it again, the intensity. You can also switch toggle to fish eye. There's so many different uh, options. See, look, it got rid of the uh, text around me of when I hit HUD, and then I can get rid of the frame if I so choose to toggle it on or off. So it's overwhelming prequel because there's so many filter options and to go through them all, you guys would probably get bored, but know there are filters that do not exist anywhere other than on prequel at present. And it's all contained within one app, which is nice. So say I were to record a pre prequel, so I've selected this. So let's go to video mode. Uh, and we can either record without the effect and then add it afterwards or record with the effect and then change the effect. So it keeps in memory your original footage. So I'm recording a prequel, I am stopping. So right now, as you can see, I'm going to switch between different effects. So immediately I can switch to other effects even if I didn't record in the set effects. And not only that, you can adjust, as I said before, the intensity of each effect. And then on top of that, you can add additional color filters. So here the color filters are, we have Beverly here. We can, by tapping on it again, a second time, we can adjust its intensity. So it is super powerful. The possibilities and combinations are endless. Okay, once you record a video, you can actually add different effect intros. That's something that I want to remind you about. You can also do a montage and that you can trim the start and the end of each prequel. But if you want a fully edited prequel video, you're gonna have to take it into another editing environment such as Premiere Pro or Final Cut. So let's record and I'll show you. So this is how you add start effects. So this is how you add start effects to your prequel, which is basically fading into your prequel, but with an effect. It's on the menu option of start effect. 
So I'm just going to play with which one I want, like glitch or film or burn. And another thing you can do, which I told you before about, is that you can trim the length of your prequel with the montage option. You can shorten it and you can also adjust the speed of it. It is super powerful, super customizable, very cinematic, very attractive. We're gonna take a photo really fast. Okay, we just took a photo. It's applying the filter. And as you saw before, you can switch between the filters after the fact and the effects because it keeps the original, which is pretty cool because other apps, once you record with the filter, you're set, like you're stuck with it, but not with prequel. And you can adjust stuff like contrast, sharpening, saturation, highlight shadows, fade, temperature. It is so just, there's just so many layers of editing that you can do. Now it's going to export it and then you can save it to your camera roll or share it to Instagram. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this makes sense. Uh, I don't know what to tell you other than you have to just customize the filters. You can mix and match filters. Uh, the, the possibilities are endless. Make sure you select the right pricing plan. If you want the VHS effects for TikTok or Snapchat, you find them here. And don't forget to subscribe for more TikTok, Snapchat, and app tutorials, as well as bonus videos. Bye.